Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create this card featuring a easy inlay rainbow background that I think pairs really nicely with the childhood themed trifold dies included in the premium kit. I'll also share this bonus card created with the stamps and dies included in the classic kit, also paired with the inlay rainbow background. We're going to start and take by taking a quick look at all of the stamps, dies, and stencils included in the premium kit. Mainly these trifold fancy dies, those are part of the premium kit. We're going to use those on our first card. Next up are these uh, coordinating stamp and stencil or stamp and dies. Those are part of the classic and the premium as well as that flower stencil. We're going to actually use the stamp set for our sentiment and um, the bike on the bonus card. I'm going to start with the tree and bench. Uh, die from the trifold fancy die set and die cut an A2 panel of white cardstock about two thirds up. This is going to be the back um, scene in my layering scene, and I, so I want it to be the tallest, so it's a little bit on the taller side, almost as tall as I could get for my A2 card base without that tree hanging off the top. Next up is our other two dies in that trifold uh, fancy die set. The uh, dog and the mailbox is, is going to be our middle layer, and then the girl on the bike will be our front layer. So I'm going to die cut those according, accordingly, so the, the dog and the mailbox will be a little bit longer than the girl on the bike. And you can adjust these a little bit here, and actually I do get the dog and the mailbox one, I make it a little short, and um, I can adjust that uh, by sliding it up um, when it's behind or yeah behind the girl on the bike so i just went ahead and ran that through my die cutting machine um it does cut along the sides of the panel a little bit and it doesn't go do a complete cut because it ends so if it you can just kind of rip it that little bit of piece off because you, and you'll have this kind of uneven edge on your right and left side of your panels we are going to take care of that with just a pair of scissors here so i just got my long blade scissors and i'm just going to cut off that little bit of an uneven edge on the right and left sides of my panels that uh, the die will leave if your a2 panel is not a perfect a2 panel which they rarely are and once I you could also use a paper trimmer if you prefer to cut this off too but I just grabbed a pair of scissors because it just seemed the easiest to me now I'm going to just layer these up here you can see how I slide that middle one the dog in the mailbox up a little bit I just like that positioning a little bit better so I did cut it a little short but we can kind of hide it uh, when we glue them together. Now I'm going to move on to the nesting circles infinity dies. I'm going to grab the second largest die from this set and we are going to die cut an A2 panel of arctic cardstock with that die. We're going to keep the panel and put the circle aside. We'll use that later to die cut another circle from but we're just gonna, mainly we want that panel, that windowed panel. Now I'm going to grab the second largest die and the fourth largest die and die cut a ring from ultra pink cardstock. I'm just going to eyeball the space between the two, but it will end up cutting a quarter inch ring, um, a quarter inch width ring. Now we're going to keep that smaller die, so the fourth largest die that we just used, and the sixth, now we're going to grab the sixth largest die, and we're going to die cut another ring, a smaller ring out of coral cardstock. And we're going to basically repeat this process till we have five rings getting progressively smaller. So my next two dies, I will die cut out of mustard cardstock, which just happens to be one of my favorite colors from Hero Arts. Then I will grab my next two dies. I'm always keeping the smaller die that I just used and then grabbing an even smaller die, which, and, and I'm, I'm skipping basically to get that space. I'm skipping a die in between to get that quarter inch um, space for those rings. I finished, I did the green was meadow and the blue was paradise. Now we're going to grab that leftover circle that we die cut in the beginning, use the smaller die that we ended with to die cut a, the final circle that will complete kind of our inlay uh, scene or inlay sky. I have an A2 top folding white card base that I'm just going to add some liquid adhesive to the backside of that arctic panel and adhere it to my card base. Once I get that stuck down, now we're ready to start inlaying our rings. I'm going to start with the largest the largest one, which is the uh, ultra pink. Add some liquid glue. The first one is the hardest one to get into place. So you kind of have to work it back and forth and kind of um, smooth it out. If, it, if you get, if you find that's not lining up perfectly, um, just make sure the part that's kind of uneven or overlapping is at the bottom, which will be hidden by our layered uh, trifold scene later. So if it isn't lining up perfectly, it should 
should though, but if it feels like it's not lining up perfectly, you can always overlap the die cuts a little bit and we'll that at the bottom and it'll be hidden by the trifold seam. So I'm just working my way here through my rings um, one at a time, just kind of getting them lined up as the best I can. I move my hands over, my fingers over the whole entire ring and kind of move it around a little bit till it gets, um, it kind of locks in place, almost like a puzzle piece inside the uh, previous uh, glue down ring. And then we'll finish with that final arctic circle. Now we're ready to kind of adhere our trifold uh, panels together. I'm going to start by adding some liquid adhesive to the backside of the dog and mailbox one and adhere it to the tree and bench. And remember, I did decide it was a little bit short, so I slid that panel up a little bit. So we're going to have a quarter inch, about a quarter inch gap at the bottom. Then I finish my scene by adhering the girl on the bike. And this is where I realize, oh, I've got to stamp my sentiment still. And I'm a little bit concerned about that quarter inch gap that um, I had left over from that dog mailbox panel. So I went and just traced it and grabbed a scrap piece of white cardstock. And now I cut it and basically created like a quarter inch strip that I will add some liquid adhesive to and then slide it in to the bottom there between the girl and tree layer. And it will butt up against that dog mailbox layer to kind of support that little bottom um, um, bit of our panel so we can stamp our sentiment because I don't want it to be uneven. I might not get a good impression of my sentiment. So I grabbed a sentiment from that clear um, stamp set and I'm going to stamp it in granite core ink. I um, love the gray color here doing something a little bit different. Typically I do black but I really liked the kind of more softer look that the gray added. I inked it up and stamped it a, a couple of times to make sure it was nice and crisp. Now we're ready to finish this card. I decided that I actually just want to glue my layered scene directly to my card front but of course you could pop this up with some foam adhesive if you prefer and after we get that covered with adhesive i'll stick it down and you can see how that that uh, layered scene will actually cover up the bottom half of our nesting circles creating that look of a rainbow and this is such a fun pretty scene i love the very kind of cash clean and simple look of the layered white die cuts and that beautiful pop of color from the rainbow background. Now here's the bonus card I created. I used actually the leftover circles from the first card so and created a second nesting rainbow. So actually my, my this rainbow is a little bit smaller than the first. And then the bike was made with the stamp set. I just stamped all the three layers for that bike in the granite ink. And actually the little background here was die cut with the grass die included in the classic kit. The grass die goes with the grass image. And that's the these two cards. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards and video. If any questions about the products I used, please check out the links below and the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.